the question says find the unit digit of 7 power 48 into 6 power 56 into 5 power 36 right so basically 7 power 48 will be a number you just have to work on what that number ends with multiplied by 6 power 56 is again going to be a very very big number you find out what comes in the unit space of that number into 5 power 36 also is going to be a big number find out what comes in the unit space of this number by multiplying these three we'll be able to figure out the unit space of the whole number now we know how to find out the unit space of a number uh, that ends with you know any any uh, number uh, you know the power of any number that ends with 7 we, we have learned that technique right it's there in our number systems video but then even before finding out see there is that cyclic pattern you have to find out right 7 power n uh, 1 ends with 7 7 uh, square ends with 9 7 cube ends with 3 7 power 4 ends with 1 and you know that the cycle of 7 9 3 1 repeats so cyclicity for 7 is 4 we have discussed all these things but instead of doing all that i mean instead of working on 7 power 48 first let's work on 6 power 56 and 5 power 36 see with, when it comes to 6 you should know that any power of 6 will always end with 6 like 6 power 1 is equal to 6 6 square is 36 ends with 6 6 cube is 216 that also ends with 6 so the point I'm trying to make is any number, any power of 6, 6 power 4, 6 power 48, 6 power 56, 6 power 127, anything you take, it will always end with 6. That's the best part. So you don't have to worry about this, right? 6 power 56 will end with 6. That is for sure. Similarly, any power of 5 will also end with 5. 5 power 1 is equal to 5. 5 squared is 25. 5 cube is, uh, you know, 125 and so on. So if you see, it always ends with 5. Like here 6, 36 and 2, 16 and so on. This always ends with 5. 5 power 36 also will end with 5. And that's it. This will give me the answer. I don't have to worry about 7 power 48. 7 power 48 will take some time for us to figure out. It will take about 5 to 8 seconds or 10 seconds to find out 7 power 48 ends with what. But the point is, one number ends in 6. Second number ends in 6. The third number ends in 5. It will be like this. First number, let's say, ends in some value. We don't know. Into... The product of second and third values will be ending in 0. Because if one number ends in 6, the other number ends in 5, the product of these two will end with 0. 6 into 5 is 30, right? Unit space will be 0. And there will be some number. Similarly, there is some number. Now, without worrying about what the question mark is, I know that the overall product will always end in 0. Will, will definitely end in 0. Why? Whatever be in place of question mark. Whatever be there in place of question mark. Whatever be there in place of question mark. When multiplied by 0 will result in a number ending in 0. So the answer to this question is the unit digit of this value is going to be 0. The number will be like 1000 digit long, 2000 digit long, it doesn't matter. But the answer will end with 0. Now the point that I would stress on here is I am sure all of us will get the answer as 0. But if you have found what comes in place of question mark, then you are not really as smart as what you could be. Because I don't have to worry about what comes in place of question mark. Just by looking at 6 power 56 and 5 power 36, I should know that this will result in a number ending in 0. And then there ends the game. Even if there are other uh, numbers here, let's say 9 power 74 into 8 power 59 into some 4 power 38. doesn't matter. One number ends, I mean, one number ends in 0. So when you take the whole product, it will definitely end with 0. So all of you get one mark. But those who have got the answer without finding out 7 power 48, get a bonus one mark for this one. Okay, the answer to this question is 0. This is on simplification. So here you need to find out the exact value. Okay, you have uh, 58.4 into 1.5 into 2.2 plus question mark is equal to 376. So again in this question, digital root method will not work because if you look at the digital root, digital root of this is 5, this is 4, this is also 4, then you have 5. So whatever answer that you get, you are going to be confused with the options, right? Digital root method will not work here. So you will have to do it otherwise. So again, for this question, a lot of you are giving me the answer as option C. So let's try. So what is given here? See, you have 58.4 into 1, 1 by 1.5. You can take 1.5 as 3 by 2. Correct, 3 by 2 is 1.5. Then again, 2.2, uh, uh, you can take it as 22 by 10 for easier calculation. Minus 376, that is equal to question mark. Okay, but still you will have to uh, do some sort of simplification. Without that, you cannot arrive at the answer for this one. So, 
here you have 11 right 11 so you will have to do at least 58.4 into 33 so if you do this subtract the answer that you um, divided by 10 correct 58.4 into 33 divided by 10 minus 376 that's what you have to do so little bit of calculation involved you cannot let go of that calculation for this one so check what answer that you get sorry it has to be this has to be minus no this has to be plus i will take this that side so sorry this has to be minus this has to be plus question mark is here so i take this set of terms to the other side so it will be 376 minus 58.4 into 3 by 2 okay i wrote it the other way around sorry about that you take this set of numbers to the other side so 376 minus this you will get it as 183.28 8 1 by 2 plus 4 2 by 7 is equal to 5 1 by 2 plus question mark this is a fairly easy question if you group it correctly solving it is very easy yeah 51 by 17 that's the correct answer so 51 by 7 sorry so what do you do here so you have 8 and a half plus 4 2 by 7 minus 5 1 by 2 you have to find out what that is correct what is 8 1 by 2 minus 5 1 by 2 that is 3 correct 1 by 2 1 by 2 will get cancelled 8 minus 5 is equal to 3 so you have 3 plus 4 2 by 7 now how can I write this 3 plus 4 2 by 7 see it is nothing but 3 plus 4 plus 2 by 7 it is equivalent to this correct see 3 4 2 by 7 is nothing but 4 plus 2 by 7 or I can say this is equal to 7 plus 2 by 7 or it is equal to 7 2 by 7 so if it is 7 2 by 7 7 7 are 49 49 plus 2 that is 51 by 7 I am making it into an improper fraction so the correct answer is option C yes 7 2 by 7 or 51 by 7 now the next uh, set of questions that we are solving today are from the daily tests okay uh, last week's daily test 18.6 into 3 plus 7.2 minus 16.5 is equal to question mark plus 21.7 solve this and give me the answer here you cannot approximate you will have to get the exact answer here and the question also they have very clearly not mentioned approximate and also if you look at the options you can uh, clearly see that they have not approximated so how can we do this see uh, you can do for 18 point see you have if you are uh, calculating this remember here there is multiplication addition subtraction etc so always use the board mass rule when uh, such uh, operations come first do the divisions multiplications then do the additions and subtraction so what is 18.6 into 3 that is nothing but uh, 55.8 so you have to do 55.8 plus 7.2 minus 16.5 minus 21.7 that's going to give us the answer now 55.8 plus 7.2 it is nothing but 55 plus 8 correct see 0 0.8 plus 0 0.2 is 1 so 55.8 plus 7.2 is nothing but 55 plus 8 that is equal to 63 similarly here if you add these two you get uh, 38.2 so the answer that we are looking for is 63 minus 38.2 that is equal to 24.8 okay see in this question if this option none of these was not there then by uh, looking at the units digit itself you can arrive at the answer even at this step if you just compare the units digit you can say the last digit is 8 and none of the options has 8 so this is going to be the answer but here none of these is there so you will have to do it till the end so that there is no mistake correct answer here is option c if this none of these was not there even the unit even the uh, digital root method would have worked here for this question okay if you actually check the digital root for this uh, number will be five and all the other options have different uh, digital roots other than five and you can even apply the digital root method here to arrive at the answer but again none of these is there so we will have to solve it and only find out cube root of 35937 into 1331 is equal to 121 into question mark here what are, what are you supposed to find out the only uh, number which you will find difficult is to find out the cube root of 35937 whenever you are finding the cube root of uh, numbers what is the rule that we follow see first thing you have to assume that this is a uh, complete cube okay then only you will be able to arrive at the answer the shortcut method that we have learned is for perfect cubes so we have to assume that the given cube is a perfect cube here the last digit of the cube is 7 so what will be the last digit of the cube root it has to be 
3. For those of you who are new to uh, finding out cube roots, please check the speed max session. There will be a separate section on how to find square roots and cube roots of numbers. So there is a table that will be given. If the last digit of the cube is 7, the last digit of the cube root has to be 3. Then what do you do? Omit the last 3 digits. If you omit the last 3 digits, what are you left with? You are left with 35. Now check between which two cubes will this number 35 lie. 35 lies between 3 cube and 4 cube, correct? 3 cube is 27, 4 cube is uh, 64. So, and it is, uh, so what has to come here? It has to be definitely some, uh, the number that I am looking for is 33, correct? It is uh, between 3 cube and 4 cube. So, it has to be 33. So, the cube root of this number is 33. So, what can I say? 33 into 1331. What is 1331? 1331 is nothing but 11 cube. Now this you should know. 1331 is 11 cube. Now so what will be the value of question mark? Uh, yeah. Here you have. Uh, so this is what is 33 is nothing but 3 into 11. Right. Into 11 cube is equal to 11 squared into x. Or this is nothing but 11 to the power 4. Or what is x? x is equal to 3 into 11 square. Or 3 into 121 that is equal to 363. At this point, you can do the calculation however way you want. It's very easy at this point. Correct answer is option C. You can directly cancel it here also. So you will have uh, 33 into 11. That's what you are looking at. You needn't do it in so many steps. Directly you can save.